Hey guys, here's another review for you on CoverGirl products. CoverGirl is one of my favorite drugstore brands that Maybelline now that I just did that review. Um, but CoverGirl has just been a great, great drugstore brand for me. I actually have one, two, three, four, four, kind of five products by them that I want to review. And um, I wish I had more, but I've just got so much like eyeshadow palettes that I don't buy enough eyeshadows from CoverGirl. But one of the eyeshadows that I did buy is the CoverGirl Eye Brightening Shadow Palette. And this is for brown eyes. And it gives instructions on the back. It's pretty cool of where to put your color and on your eye. And it came with this awesome brush that I use every single day. Every, every, every single day. Just an eyeshadow brush, but I use this all the time. I don't, I don't buy any fancy smancy eyeshadow brushes. I might one day, but this just works fine for me for any eyeshadow that I use. Um, but this, these are all got a shimmer to it, which is fine with me. I love shimmer. Um, the white is a great highlight color. The gold is a great lid color. that might be better on my hand. There we go. Gold is a great highlight or uh, lid color. The gray is a good crease color. And the blackish color, it's pretty black. Um, it's a really shimmery black. Is great as a liner or as a crease color as well. So those are the colors. I love these colors. Um, they're I, want to, I don't want to say neutral, but they're very earthy tones, brown tones. Um, so I really like these. I was using these like every day before I started buying my Coastal Scents and all my other makeup. I was using this every day. Every day. <laughs> and so I haven't used this in a while, but once in a while I will use the gold color. The gold color is my favorite. And definitely the white as a, um, or the cream color as a highlight. That's the best highlight that I have. So I'll use that. And this this eyeshadow brush is just it's just great. I love this brush. It's awesome. Also, I'm actually out of this, and well, I have a little bit left. Um, not very much. But this is my favorite eyeliner. Like was my favorite eyeliner. I found a new favorite eyeliner, but this was this will always be one of my favorite eyeliners for the reason that it lasts all day, all day, all day. Um, this is the Outlast Smooth Wear by CoverGirl All Day Eyeliner, and this is in Onyx. I love this eyeliner. Um, usually when I buy eyeliners, I only want the deepest black color they have, which is usually called Onyx. Last time I went to go buy this, like a month or two ago, they didn't have it. Um, they were out of the Onyx color, and I was like, nope, I'm not buying, I'm not buying it. I don't want that. And so I bought a different eyeliner by CoverGirl, one that wasn't the Outlast. And it came off in like three hours. And I don't have any more. I used it all. But um, I dealt with it. But this lasts all day. And I want to buy another one. But I have another favorite eyeliner now. The um, Ulta eyeliner that came with my kit. But this will always be a great eyeliner. It really does last all day. It is kind of expensive, I believe. It's like $7 or something. I want to say. I don't remember. And then my favorite um, mascara. This is the only two mascaras that I have are the... Uh, CoverGirl Lash Blast. These are awesome. I mean, these are great for me. They might not be great for you or some other people, but I like them. Um, so the first one I ever got was the CoverGirl Lash Blast. There's the regular, the orange tube. I love the brush. Some people are saying that it's too big, too bulky, but I really like it. Um, it's really easy to put on. Um, I'm almost out of this one. So I bought the CoverGirl Lash Blast box. So I was like, okay, glittery mascara, you know? That might be pretty cool. So I got the color, I don't remember the color, but it's the bluish tint color. They have like a few tinted colors. I got the bluish one. And I mean, I love this mascara because of the formula, the Lash Blast formula. But the Lux, I couldn't see the glitter whatsoever unless I'm like this close up to my eye. And then you can kind of see it. But which is fine. I don't want overly glittery, you know, eyelashes or anything like that. But this, will, this is definitely a favorite mascara. So once I'm out of these two, I'm probably going to try um, a new mascara that I saw in a commercial today. And now I can't remember what it was. But 
Um, these will always be my favorite until I found a new favorite. <laughs> but those are my CoverGirl products, and I hope you enjoyed the review.